Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Batul, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video of chapter number 10, Boolean logic. Okay, so in this video we are going to do example number 2 of logic circuits, logic expressions, truth tables and problem statements. We are already done with example number 1 in the previous video. If you want to watch that, go ahead. Now, in example number 2, the question says that write logic expression from the following logic circuit okay you have to derive the logic expression and this question is divided into two parts or you have two parts for this a and b so first we will do a and then we will see b so in part a you have given three logic gates this is number one end gate this is number two that is no or gate o r if you remember the symbols then you can easily recognize that the second one is an or gate number three is a zor gate okay so now quickly see the input values there are three inputs a and b are the inputs of and gate b and c are the inputs of or gate and both the outputs of AND and OR gate become input of your ZOR gate. So it is better to define the intermediate outputs with a small symbol. Like we can say that the output of logic gate 1 is P and the output of logic gate 2 which is OR gate is Q. So that we can easily say that the value of X is P Zor Q. So let's quickly write it down for each of these logic gates. So for the first logic gate, right here, logic gate 1. Logic gate 1 is nothing but end operation between two input values that is A, B. So we can write that P equals to P which is the output of logic gate 1 is nothing but it's a function of A and B. For logic gate 2, two it can simply be written as the output is we have uh, we have named the output Q for logic gate 2 then we can say that it's an OR function between the values B or C. Now finally for the logic gate 3, logic gate 3, we know that logic gate 3 is a ZOR function. So it is X equals to the input values are named as P, ZOR, Q. And in order to write down the actual function or actual output, you can replace the value of P and Q with by using equation number 1 and 2. So the value of P is written in brackets, which is A and B. Write down ZOR as it is. And the value of Q will be B or C. So this is how you can determine the final output value or the logic expression of your logic circuit. And remember that for expression there is no need to write down this x equals to because that will become an equation. So this is the final output or the final logic expression for your given circuit. Now quickly moving towards part B of this example. Okay, so here we go. This is part B, another logic circuit for which we have to define the logic expression. So look at this. The first logic gate, it's a NAND gate, N-A-N-D. The second logic gate is a AND gate, A-N-D, AND. The third logic gate is a NOR gate, N-O-R, 
and the fourth one is your OR gate OR so quickly see the input values for logic gate 1 the input values are A and B for logic gate 2 the input values are B and C now quickly mark the outputs of these two gates for our convenience so let's write down output of NAND gate is P and the output of AND gate is Q now if I talk about the third logic gate it is a NOR gate that is taking inputs the first input is A and the second input is P that is the output of your NAND gate now the final logic gate logic gate or okay before that mark the output of your NOR gate as R so it will be easier for you logic gate 4 has R as its input and another input is Q coming from the output of AND gate if you understand this now quickly do the working over here okay so let's write down first of all logic gate 1 logic gate 1 is basically nothing but it's a NAND function between A and C look at this the second line is coming from C not B sorry for the mistake I have said I think B before but if you see actually it is coming from C so because you have to see this black dot if the black dot is there it means that this line is going somewhere else also for a this line is going to logic gate 1 and also to logic gate 3 so it is basically the junction of the wire now we can simply write for logic gate 1 the output is marked as p p is nothing but it is a NAND which is the operation between inputs and the other input is C so A NAND C equals to P which is the output of your NAND gate the second is your logic gate 2 the logic gate 2 is basically your AND gate it is taking B and C as your inputs okay so you can simply write the output is marked as q so q equals to b and c this is done for logic gate 2 now logic gate 3 for logic gate 3 you can see that it is a nor gate and it is taking a and p u p p as the input values and the function the output is r so r equals to a nor p or in other words if you want to put the value of p from equation number one you can simply write that it is a nor and write down the value of p in bracket because it is another operation on two input values a and c so this is basically r that is the output of your logic gate 3 now finally writing down for logic gate 4 okay so logic gate 4 is basically uh, it's an OR function between R and Q so you can simply write X which is your final output at X equals to R or Q now remember that your final answer must be in the form of ABC that is your input values the initial input values only PQR is written for your convenience okay so in order to make it uh, 
ABC, in the form of ABC, you have to put the values of R and Q in logic gate 4. So, the value of R can be taken from equation number 3 over here and the value of Q can be taken from equation number 2. If you see, I have already marked it for you. So, X equals to the value of R is a nor A and C sorry it is um, a little correction is needed over here for P it is A NAND C so write down N over here A NAND C is the actual value of P okay so, the value of R becomes A nor into A nand C, which is in the bracket. So, I have written this. Now, write down another bracket because you are doing an operation of OR between the values of R and Q. Now, write down the value of Q from equation number 2. The value of Q is B and So here we go. This is your final output. X equals to A nor A and C or B and C. Remember to put the brackets between the functions because it is very, very important. I hope that this problem is clear to you. If you have any queries, you can comment below. And one more thing. If it is an expression, so don't write x equals to. Otherwise, it becomes an equation. So stay tuned, stay connected, and do not forget to subscribe the channel. Bye-bye.